this might become one of our favorite Malaysian places in Auckland. Uh, hello, uh, fancy seeing you here yet again. Uh, it's another beautiful day in Auckland. I'm sure you're a very rational person, dear viewer, and any rational person would love Malaysian food as much as we do. We're doing another Malaysian food video, and we're starting it off here in Panmuir, one of our favorite suburbs for eating at Nasi Kandar. And then tomorrow, we're gonna be going to Treasure Kitchen. We made the grave mistake last time, but we're not gonna do it this time because we have our own resident Malaysian. <laughs> I'm obviously talking about Serena, um, local horse. Special guest. <laughs> Special guest member. Yeah, so yeah, join us. We're gonna eat some delicious Malaysian food. Let's go to Nasi Kandar. Let's go. Very excited for this one. We've wanted to go here for the longest time. This, of course, is Nasi Kandar Pulau Pinang in Panmuir. Uh, fun fact: the, one of the owners, Chef Joe, he actually was a car salesman at Holden until he got made redundant, and that made him uh, want to open up uh, Nasi Kandar in the night markets, I think, and that grew from there. And now they have a permanent spot here in Panmuir. Their specialty here, obviously, it's in the name, Nasi Kandar, a very famous dish from Penang in uh, Malaysia. I'm very excited. We've got a few curries, some satay. Let's see. All right, we're starting this meal off with some iced cham tarik, which is a combination of tea and coffee. Let me just tomorrow. Oh, that's very nice. Very refreshing. Mm. Yeah, nice balance of that tea and coffee. What did you get? You got the teh tarik, am I not mistaken? Yes. How is it? Like tea. How? Oh, fascinating stuff. Yes, we love it. Tastes very sweet and refreshing yes. too. Ama amazing insights. All right, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is some of the most beautiful Malaysian food I've ever seen. Like we have Malaysian food quite often. We literally did a video a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I feel like I've seen like the Mona Lisa for the first time, even though we haven't seen the Mona Lisa. Watch our France videos <laughs> coming up next year. Um, we'll run you through the dishes. This is their specialty, nasi kandar, just like the name. It looks absolutely delicious. And we decided to add on some of their signature beef rendang. Apparently, it originated from Tamil Muslim workers in Penang in Malaysia. This is the most beautiful spread ever. It's got some turmeric rice, some cabbage, some crispy fried shallots, some veg, an asambal egg. I have no idea what this is, but we it comes in a lot of Malaysian dishes and we always really like it. Firstly, let's get some rice, some veg. What's an oh, oh that's right, there's an okra curry and I love okra. My goodness, let's get some of that. And some cabbage, that looks amazing. Let's cut open the egg. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, it's not soft boiled or anything, but it'll make do. And this is their beef rendang that we got with it. Look at that. Oh my lord, it looks amazing. Beef rendang, you know, some of the, one of the most signature Malaysian dishes. That looks absolutely fall apart tender. Honestly, this whole table is it's just like a perfume store of Malaysian goodies. All right, there's too many elements. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go, go with it. Oh my goodness. That's just amazing. Holy, I can't swear because mom and dad's gonna watch. That's just amazing. It's so fragrant. The turmeric rice, it's just, mm, and the, the, the okra curry. It's just so complex, like a third order differential equation, like we used to do in engineering. I'm gonna try it with a beef rendang. good and tender. I think they make it with beef brisket and you can just really tell when it cooked it down for hours. It's so fatty and tender. It's just amazing. This might become one of our favorite Malaysian places in Auckland. I already know. It's just one dish in, but you already know it's gonna be good. Okay, it is chicken satay time. Come, come, come. As you can see, we have a beautiful plate of chicken satay. They actually cook this over the charcoal grill so you know it's gonna have a bit of that smoky edge and of course this thick oh that saute sauce topped with some more curry leaves and it also has some crispy ooh is it shallots probably crispy shallots or maybe garlic on top oh my I I loaded it up with sauce but come on first bite mm. Mm. that sauce very peanutty. It's on the sweet side, which I actually quite like when it comes to peanut saute. 
because it kind of like counteracts the savoriness of like the meat. And you know me, the sweet and salty. Come on. And of course, some cucumber for health. Look at that. I shall have a cucumber. Mm. And that chicken, very succulent. I love that. That is so good. Yeah. So apparently, I'm taste testing the eggbat sambal. Um, so here we go. Look at that nice oil. Very umami flavor. Oh yeah. Yes. You can really taste the shrimp paste in the sambal. I think it's pretty solid. Not too spicy. Not too sweet. Not too sour. Not too salty. Oh, but wow. I really dig it. That's a yeah. wonderful description. Thank you. More to come. Okay, we're gonna move on to not just a goat curry, but arguably the best curry in the world. That's a bold statement. Do you see this luscious, luscious sauce? Oh yes. It's just like my mouth is just salivating this whole time. All right. And then, not obviously, we couldn't just have basic white rice. We have blue pea jasmine rice. It's first time having goat with Malaysian cuisine. Mm. Beautiful. The goat is quite tender. It's not super, super chewy and very umami. And like, I like how thick the curry kind of is. So it's almost like a, not a braised sauce, but like, yeah, I guess like a thick curry, you know? We don't like watery curry. Who likes that? Because I haven't really had too much goat, I don't really know what it usually tastes like, but it's not like super gamey, which is good. Yeah, I just appreciate a good old curry. Mm. All right, final. <laughs> all right, final <laughs> dish. Um, all beautiful journeys must come to an end. And we are ending it with the chicken all black. This is not not like not the rugby all black it's just it's just black you know it's two whole chicken legs cooked in ours in their spicy black sauce i have no idea but i'd rather just keep it a mystery because you know some things are better kept mysteries and apparently it's a very unique taste that can only be tasted in this restaurant here look, one of us, let's go for it let's open it up i have no idea what we're dealing with here but it just looks menacing the oil's already dropped down to the bottom like you just know this this is gonna taste good anyway that's Get to the taste and prepare your. Oh, bite. am I in this? Yeah, yeah, you're okay. in it. Amateur. Oh, no. <laughs> True. Anyway, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hmm. Really good. That might be my favorite one out of all the ones we tasted. Oh really? Yeah. Even better than this? It looks super tender. Yeah. yeah. The chicken's really yeah, the chicken's really good. It has this really interesting umami. A little bit sweet and salty. I have no idea what's going on. I'm sure there's a plethora of spices in it. But it's just glorious. Let me just have another bite. Okay, because look at it. Look at it. It's just black, like a Dark Souls game. I'm gonna bite. It's like crunchy too, right? Yeah. Mm. It's so crunchy. Because your surprising because it's been sitting out. Yeah. Influence attacks. <laughs> yeah, you should not call me that. <laughs> but yeah, that's really amazing. Mm. Oh, dare I say this is one of the best Malaysian dishes I've had in Auckland. You know, Nasi Kandar is a restaurant of bold claims, but they've got the stuff to back it up. Oh yeah, yeah, it's confirmed. This is already one, like, one of our favorite restaurants. Malaysian restaurants in Auckland. Wow. I'd like to take this opportunity to um, to interview our resident Malaysian, um, Siri. You know, it's not often you that we do. My whole name it's not. <laughs> it's not. I, I'll I'll burn it out. <laughs> it's not often that we have a Malaysian in a Malaysian food video. Um, so where where are you from? Simple enough. No, I thought you were born here. I'm from here, but why are you lying? <laughs> God, I don't know 
what you want me to say. You just hit the reverse where you're from. <laughs> yeah, I, I was hoping she'd say New Zealand, so I'll be like, where are you really from? But she, she, she went straight to Simporna. Uh, and, and, and for the people who don't know at home, where is Simporna? On the East Island. What's your address? <laughs> Number one. <laughs> um, oh, no, is this a plug for like my granddad's resort? <laughs> oh, I, oh Wait, I need to Do you want to plug it? Okay, okay. Are you still Googling your granddad's resort? <laughs> so my family is specifically around the area of Simpona Ocean Tourism Center. Go check that out if you're ever in the area. Say hi. Support local. Yes. So what would you say is your favorite uh, uh, Malaysian dish? Nasi kuning. Oh, very nice. And what, what does nasi kuning entail? What does it have? Um, it's wrapped in a banana leaf and it's got yellow rice, um, like a little small fish, huh? and half an egg. <laughs> wow, that's very, very, very interesting indeed. Um, yeah. What's your favorite thing about Malaysia? The orangutans. Ah, oh, so you. No, you. You're no, my you. favorite person. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Are you sure Malaysian? Would you like to do a, a, an Ancestry.com test? <laughs> Maybe you're an imposter, are you sure you're Malaysian? Would you like to share your Ancestry.com uh, DNA test? So apparently, and I will not say how much, but I am not Malaysian, but Vietnamese. <laughs> even though my whole family tests for Malaysia. So, you're an imposter. <laughs> Ancestry.com, I'm coming for you. This is, Fake. I don't know what this is, man, but it's not yeah. it. Justice for Serena's ethnicity. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank um, you for having me. Yes, we love we love ethnic people. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. <laughs> anyway, this has been uh, Nasi Kanda for you. Um, she's not gonna join us on our next trip because we're gonna be with our family. I've been snipped. Yeah, honestly, one of the best Malaysian meals we've had this year. Over and out, Treasure Kitchen, we're coming for you. Not you though, bye. <laughs> bye bye. Visit Simpona Ocean Tourism Center. We'll come and say hi. <laughs>
and some maybe and maybe some you know and then an oyster oyster as Harry Connick Jr. would say mm, I really enjoy that Oh, is a bit of a kick. It's real luxe, you know, if you want to treat yourself to more than just an omelet. I see why it's an iconic dish here. Eggplant. Oyster omelet. Amazing. Honestly, one of my favorite clay pot combinations to get is down here, down here. Clay pot pork belly and salted fish. Obviously, it's not sizzling anymore because we've been waiting. But, you know, it's got shallots, ginger, garlic, spring onions. Salted fish simmered over low heat in clay pot. It says on the menu, if you love your food with rice, this is an awesome dish to go with. And you know, we are Filipino after all. Rice is life. So automatically, we gotta get this. And obviously it has pork belly, my favorite uh, meat cut of all time. Let's just get some. Oh my lord. What's, what's at the bottom? What's up? Oh, must be some, ooh. I have no idea. Maybe some, some oils, maybe some, oil. yeah. Oh, that rice is just gonna soak up all the oils. Okay, some pork belly. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mm -mm. That is excellent. Oh, this little cube in my chopstick. I think it's the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's the salted fish. It's just salted fish around. Mm. I love salted fish. It's just the briny umami ness that a lot of dishes just absolutely need. I'm gonna get another plant. I'm gonna start this. Mm. Mm. You know, it's like thinly sliced, but it's really tender and thin. Pork belly, just I, my love affair with it will never die. That's, that's just a really good dish. Obviously, we have to chase it with some veggies. This is their seasonal veg with some beef slices. We just got it stir fried. And Mm. You know, it's simple, but we need our greens, don't we? Yeah, we need our health and balance. Yeah, we... All right, final stretch, last dish. We got their creamy salted egg. You can choose different proteins to have it with, but we chose Ling fish fillet. I don't think we've ever had that kind of fish before, but it already looks good. Look how luscious the sauce is. Oh my, that iconic salted egg yellow. Come on. Obviously, have to pair it with some rice, but let's taste it first. Mm. Yeah. Taste it with some rice. Mm. That was good. But yeah, we made a good choice picking the fish, especially because when you have something that has salted egg, it can be quite rich and like very flavorful. But when you have like a really good tender white fish to kind of balance it out, it just, you know, it just makes perfect sense. It's all in harmony and with rice, come on. And do I see curry leaves on top? Come on. <laughs> love some curry leaves. And love some salted egg. Mm. Okay, I know we already touched on the fact that they have a self-service sauce station, but it also comes with some pickled jalapenos. And when it comes to just like condiments, pickled jalapenos have become a, uh, a favorite of mine. I mean, every bite I've been taking here, I have been pairing it with a pickled jalapeno. We're probably taking all their pickled jalapenos, but it is just, it's just too good. And it's not spicy, come on, it's just a jalapeno. But it just brings that look. All right, and that should do it for another fantastic Auckland food video. I think we already know, Nasi Kanda has already catapulted itself to at least our top two Malaysian restaurant in Auckland. And of course, we can't forget about the fantastic food at Treasure Kitchen as well. Anyway, just to keep you guys updated, we are gonna be taking a little break on the uploads, but mark your calendars for late March because we are gonna be coming back stronger than ever with some amazing food and travel vlogs from Europe. We're gonna be going back for a month long holiday, so stay posted. Anyway, thank you guys for watching another one of our food and travel videos here in Auckland and see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.